I'm going to be attempting another balloon smash today and I'm not sure how it's going to pan out. I'm just going to kind of randomly go with it. I like to just kind of let my spirit flow and see how it goes. And just to let you know, I'm using deco art colors, lime, sour apple color, festive green, dioxazine purple, purple pizzazz, calypso blue, cadmium yellow, true ochre. So that's those are in the bottles, black and white, and then I've got some in cups. Some has silicone in it, some doesn't. The deco art um, and the calypso blue. I wanted to show you just how I mix it. It's one part paint and I just eyeball it because it doesn't have to be perfect science. This is flood flow trial latex based and you just stir it up and you want it to be to the consistency of melted ice cream or warm honey pouring off a stick. You don't want it to stick to your stick like a clump then it's too thick and you don't want it to, to drip off your stick like water because then it's too watery. So you want it to pour off your stick in a steady stream. So where it lays down on top of that surface of the paint and sinks right into it but it's a steady continual stream of paint that is the desired consistency. And had sat for quite a while uncovered so it is on the thicker side but that's okay we'll just wing it anyway. I've got butcher paper underneath and then I've got a plastic uh, kennel liner for a dog crate. So it's on top of my table. So it kind of is a good protective layer and then the butcher paper is on it for any drips. If I ever have drips that are beautiful that I want to keep I can let it dry and peel them right off the butcher paper. It's great for that. So I have my little handy little palette knife that came from Jerry's Artorama. It's got an oval blade which is what I really like. It's about uh, an inch and a quarter maybe. It's perfect for small swipes. I'm going to try one out first and this is going to be totally hit and miss. What I'm going to do is do a puddle of gold, this true ochre color. Do the yellow on top. Then I want a ring of the turquoise. See this would be easier to do out of my squeeze bottles but some of it does not have silicone which was what my preference was is not to have any silicone in parts of it. So that's why I am using the cups because I could mix you know fresh paint without silicone and all my bottles have silicone in them. Not what I expected, but it's really pretty. I wanted to see what would happen with my little mini blower. So this doesn't look anything like anybody else's balloon smashes that they do. LOL. That's one of those things It's like Anytime I attempt to do somebody else's style, it never turns out the way theirs look. So I can always kind of be assured that it's not going to look that way. I think the key too is to have enough white underneath because the white is not thick enough. So I'm going to add more white real quick.
very easy to stick your straw, which I have a straw taped into the nozzle because the nozzle is too large and it, the air goes out too far. So I try to control it more with a smaller straw. First of all, just a dot of black and a bigger dot of green and then line and let's I'm going to pull out the yellow in a bottle that has silicone in it and put a dot. And let's try this. If I want to do the palette knife or how I want to do it. Here. goes similar and looks either way. So I'm going to bring out my bigger palette knife that is uh, it's kind of like a rectangle with curved edges. So no sharp edges on it. So I can make my leaves just a little bit bigger.
I did not put any black dots on the bud looking parts, just the, the big round flowers. So it doesn't look like other people's balloon smashes, but hey, it's kind of like an abstract floral and I love the colors together. I love that little pop of aqua and the yellows in the center of the purples and the cells. Even the cells, I do like them. So it's not like other people's balloon smashes, but I'm pleased with it regardless. So I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out all the links below the video, the Amazon recommendations, the Facebook group page. Come over and join my Facebook group and post your pictures there. It did not come out anything like I envisioned, but what, what pour usually does. You know, usually when you do an acrylic pour, it is always going to be kind of... Uh, the way the paint interacts and wants to play with the other paints and you can only control it so much and I don't mind that because it's just like life it's just uh, something that you only have a little bit of control over but you really don't have as much control over it as you think you do so maybe we need to let loose a little bit and let go of our control I know that I do that's a lesson for me for sure letting go so here it is, and I'm pretty pleased with it. So thank you again, and have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.